Hey everybody, welcome to Test Chamber where we look at new games. This isn't really a new game, but it's new for PlayStation 4. It's Journey from that game company. I'm Kyle Hilliard. Jeff Cork is here. And it might be new to some That's players. true. That is very true. And also Brian Shea is here. It is here. new to me. Speaking of n- nude players. Nude players. You yeah. should really put on some clothes. <laughs> I mean, this is an intimate experience, Journey, but I mean, I don't want to get that close to you. So how come you've never played this game before? Yeah, Brian? come on, what man. Is? I was kind of late to the PS3 party. And, uh, no excuse. This game came out in like 2012. The PS3 yeah, I know. came out in like 2008. So I was kind of catching up on all the PS3 exclusives. Uh, Xbox 360 was my main console back last gen. And uh, I ended up buying the collector's edition or whatever it was, the physical release of Journey. Oh, okay. That had um, the other games yeah, on it. Yeah, it came with Flower game, and I think Flow. one more. Flow. Whoa. And yeah, I was excited to try it, and I just never did. And I ended up selling my PS3 a um, couple Shame. years or last year. This is Tell a much us. longer answer than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, so I just never got around to it. Okay. I thought you going to say short answer. You just hate the desert or something. But I am like uh, picking it up today, so good. I'll play it this weekend. Hopefully, we don't ruin too much for you. It's a very, it's a beautiful game, and it looks good on PS4. It looked great on PS3, so they don't really have yeah, to push I'm, too hard. Yeah, I, I, you probably have to put them side by side for me to notice any difference. I think so. The honest. frame rate will be faster. Unfortunately, uh, you won't see the increased frame rate in this video, but it is 60, and it mm. looks very smooth. Yes. So that's, chirp. that's who you play as, Brian. There you go. Looks just like Journey. me. <laughs> so you actually, yeah, you got to control the camera with the... Uh, the motion just it's a little odd i wish you could kind of turn that off but you can't oh man this looks good silky smooth best sand uh ever i think yeah like, you, yeah i mean i think what uncharted 3 had really good sand but i mean mm-hmm. this is i think this blows uncharted 3 do i smell a future top 10 list best sand best sand uh sands of time mm-hmm. journey uncharted 3 uh, that scene uh, from Aladdin when he's or when Jasmine's drowning in the that's hourglass. not that's not a video game. <laughs> oh, okay. Super Mario Brothers two. Thought sand. we were just talking about oh. awesome sand. There you go. Super Mario Brothers two has sand stuff in it. Uh, Sonic has some sand stuff. Shh, shh, shh. Oh. Look at this. What's happening? I'm in control here. This isn't really a cutscene. Is that the whole game? That's, yes. This uh, I just beat it, Brian. Wow. So the thing I like about this game is, is stuff like that. Like it really, like it kind of just pushes you to like, like you could go anywhere technically, you know, like you could walk anywhere, but. Anywhere? Yeah, anywhere, any direction, 360 degrees. Interesting. Uh, but obviously like that thing there, I mean, you want to go check that out, right? Mm-hmm. Like it just, it's really good at sort of pulling you towards these specific areas. So like, it feels like you're kind of exploring this open world, but it, in reality, it, it's pretty linear ultimately Mm -hmm. and your ultimate goal is to of course get up to that mountain up there sure i'm actually excited to play this again i i played it i think twice on ps3 because i it's just it's not it's weird because i like if we have our replay bullet sort of on our reviews Mm -hmm. this doesn't really have a ton of replay per se but it's just i don't know it's just it's sort of a nice relaxing journey it really is It's so relaxing, I don't really even want to talk. <laughs> but I like the kind of sensation you get when you're going down yeah. the sandy hills. It is very nice. Very nice. <laughs> so our, uh, our original review of this game on PS3, I think it was a 9 out of 10. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I reposted that uh, today. Matt Miller reviewed it initially and gave it a uh, high score and spoke very highly of it. Now you're going to get some scarf points up here, right? Yeah, you want to get the highest scarf points you can get. <laughs> there you go. Boom. I wonder if we'll run into anybody. I am online. I hope we do run into somebody. So how much do you know about the game, Shay? Like, have you just heard it's good and that's like, okay, I'll play it. I hear it's good. Or do you know anything about the sort of... I don't know anything about the story or... The way it works with online or anything like no, that? No, I don't oh, wow. know any okay. of this. Really? I just know it's a gorgeous game that everybody says I should play, and I just you really had yeah. a chance to. You should definitely play it. It's super good. Yeah, I don't think you need to play it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're you walk right past those scarves. Well, it doesn't look like boxes. I could collect them anymore. Yeah. Should I go back? Waste my job. Whoa! It looks really nice on PS4. 
I guess that shouldn't be too surprising. Okay, so I can't get all these. So there's still, I guess I can only collect, what, I have two jumps now? Then your scarf kind of extends as you work your way through right. the game. God, it's been a long time since I played this. Yeah, 2012, which is when it came out, which I think seems it. longer. Yeah. Let's see. And there is a story. It's really there's no dialogue, there's no cutscenes or anything, mm -hmm. but there is a kind of. Uh, I think we'll find one right here. These sort of uh, images that kind of give you like I I couldn't really tell you what the story of this game is, mm -hmm. but. It's weird because, like, as you're playing it, you do get a sense of like moving through a narrative in a strange way. It's so yeah. hard to explain. You're like, it's a culture based on QR codes, <laughs> <laughs> and they're all trying to find their iPhones exactly so they can scan them. Oh, <laughs> that would be the this. worst story ever, <laughs> uh, or the best. No, Seriously, right here comes. Uh, this does. It is like silly. Like, there's a. Uh, Spoiler, uh, Brian Shade. There's a really awesome sequence where you're sliding for a long time, mm -hmm. and it's it's really pretty. And you just sit back and you just take it all in. Now, a similar game, Final Fantasy XIII: Lightning <laughs> Returns, uh, has a sliding down sand. Uh, is it really area? I bet Journeys is better. I haven't. I did play quite a bit of thirteen, but I never got there. I think everything about Journey is probably better than Lightning Returns. Okay, so I got I got some scarfies, mm -hmm. so I should be able to jump up here now. This game is cross buy, so you, if you've purchased it on PlayStation Three, you already own it, right? That's right. Yeah, which it was like it kind of like wasn't working this morning, uh, but now it should be fine. By the time you're watching this video, you shouldn't have a problem going and downloading it. Oh, can I go up there? Your scarf looks like whoa, like a the text on a Pez box. Like the little, <laughs> you know. I don't know if those are boxes. Whatever. Sleeve. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I'd like a journey Pez. Yeah. That guy's head. <laughs> Dispensing candy. This was made in the 90s. I bet we would have it. <laughs> that would be such a weird... I actually kind of like that idea of like... Oh, this has how I can like gather them in, right? Yeah. Man, this game's cool. <laughs> So what do you think so far, Brian Shea? I am already, like, really excited to try this game. The other thing is it's not... And I think this is a, a positive thing about the game. Some people might think it's negative. But it's not very long. Oh, it's perfect. I think I think you can get through it in about two, three hours, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of looking to Cork to see if maybe he can confirm. But yeah, it's, it's you can get through that. it in one sitting, yeah. which is perfect. Yeah. Like, you want this to be a, a full, contained experience. And I think that's one of the reasons I was saying, like... It technically doesn't have replay value, right? But it's but I really enjoyed playing it sort of again. It's like it was like watching it, like a movie I really liked. You yeah, know, again. And if you if you're with someone who doesn't like video games, that that's the length of time that uh, you could make them sit down and watch it, <laughs> and they would seem super rude if they left yeah. before it was over. You can't complain too much. Looks like some crops growing. And this is how this is how the story of the full game is presented, kind of like yes. this, like these vague images of something happened to this world. There were others like you, and now most of them are gone. And then it all wraps up with "Don't stop believing." <laughs> yeah, actually, it's uh, I, that song. I need a hero from the end of uh, Saints Row Three. Mm -hmm. While I was playing on the journey. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> your joke was better. Everybody. Oh, look. Is that another person there? Is it? Make your little sound. Hey, guy. Hey. So, Brian, that's another person. It's a real what? human being. Yeah. Yeah, this sort of filter just in and out of your game. You can technically go on a journey with a stranger through the whole game together. Okay, so it's like Bloodborne if Dan Tack was here. Is that how Bloodborne works? I think you could just have random people joining your game if okay. you. Yeah, Ring that's that bell or that's journey. Whatever. That's inspiration from journey. Okay, <laughs> I assume. But it's cool. Like I had some really interesting experiences when I played on PS3, where, uh, like I was just in this area, and this guy, he was white. Actually, he was like a like my guy, except he had a white cloak, which I think means they've played it like four or five times. Wow, uh, consecutively. Hmm. And um, he he was just like pinging me like this, and. Uh, just telling me to follow him and uh, he actually 
like took me way off the beaten path and he showed me there was uh the car- the flow that we talked about earlier yeah. another game from that company they have these like kind of specific like i guess you can call them characters mm-hmm. in the game and there was one of them just like flying around oh cool in this like area like way out of the way and i never would have found it except for the fact that there was just this dude who was just going like hey come here come here come follow me come follow and mm-hmm. i was like okay i'll come follow you and then there's i think there's like some trophies for like sitting in the sand and like like praying together for a few minutes and there's and there's no way to chat there's no way to see who the person is or read their their gamer tag or screen name until the end of the game and like uh so you might you might not even know that you've been playing with one person the whole game Mm -hmm. that's cool yeah it is it's really cool and the way that it happens too it doesn't say like so and so has joined your game or like another player has invaded or anything like that it's just you might catch a glimpse of someone yeah you don't have to interact with them at all and they can't really impede your progress, and you can't really impede theirs. Right, so it's so, not like they're taking away your scarf yeah, points or anything like that. Yeah, there's no like disadvantage or advantage to having someone in your game. They're just there with you. See? There you go. Hey. So that's like a real person. Hey, buddy. And he's... Uh, see, we're friends. Yeah. Is there a cool guy? Cool being uh, cool guys. <laughs> That's actually, uh, it's funny that you bring that up, Cork. That was the original name for the game before they changed the terms being cool guys. <laughs> cool guys being cool guys. And then there's a, oh, there's the little light that's like kind of creeping around the corner showing where the other guy is. So we've talked about how this is kind of like a, a real relaxing experience. Mm-hmm. Are there any times where you just get stuck and you're like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Um, I wouldn't, there are times of panic. Yes. Um, without spoiling anything, because I, if you haven't played it, you really should, and I want you to kind of get an, ex- you know, uh, the full experience, so to speak. But, sure. Uh, I mean, you can get stuck. I think, like, I'm kind of solving a puzzle right now, mm-hmm. where there's those ribbons floating. Mm-hmm. I, I'm going and activating them to create this bridge, so I can get up there. Um, that's about as close to like puzzle solving as you get. There's one kind of vertical. Chamber that I guess like a little platform conceivably get stuck on, but yeah, by and large, it's not about like rushing off to game facts because you get (laughs) totally stuck. Yeah, (laughs) you're not really you're not really gonna get stuck as long as you keep moving forward. You're gonna be okay. Yes, but now which way is forward? It's true. There you go. (laughs) I'm hoping we can. uh, I want to get up over this bridge. I feel like that's a pretty good goal. And I'm still full in full control of my character here, which is cool. I like when they do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Uncharted did that, or like zoomed out. And yeah. You could still see like how you were controlling Drake. So there, I completed the bridge. There's actually, I think there's like a trophy for getting through this sequence without building the bridge, which is tough. How does that like, happen? I think if you pl- if you play the game over and over, mm-hmm. like your scarf gets longer and you can fly through the air for a longer period of time it's weird there's not a whole lot of direction so like these little things are just things that you kind of figure out like the fact that you can jump longer when mm-hmm. you play over and over again or like that weird. guy that guy i found with the white cloak like i have no idea how he got that or how he found that really see now he's he's like pinging me i think follow me dude so since he's in this world with you, is he seeing the completed bridge as well since yeah, you did that? Yes. Like, so he can actually, or she, um, we both like worked together to complete the bridge. Oh, okay. Like I thought I actually had a few more ribbons to do, but yeah, I, I thought you I, did too. I think that person took yeah. care of them for me. That and so nice. like, it's only that, and that's what I'm saying. Like the, the only, you can only work together. If that makes sense. Like you can't really you know, mess up someone and like screw up their puzzle solving. Like you can only mm-hmm. help them. Oh yeah, I forgot you kind of gain speed as you ride along these things. Soundtrack's really good. I know we're talking over it a lot. Austin Wintery, I think, did that wintery. Well, that, see that guy has a long scarf, so I think he's already he or she's already played it a couple times. Cause you I mean Ah, you won. <laughs> I did it. Whoa. Take that, idiot. What are you doing, man? <laughs> oh, we didn't light them all up. There we go. 
Let's see, I got all I got all the QR code points. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the button is to like sit down on the ground. I think you just stop moving, actually. Guys, this game looks really good on PS4. I just want to play this game. Well, too bad. I have the controller. Can I import <laughs> my scarf link? No, I don't think Damn you can. Because I definitely I played it twice on PS3, and it mm -hmm. didn't give me it didn't give me like an option or anything to recall my save or anything like that. And I don't think that there's any added content for the PS4 no. version of the game. I think it's just purely like a better frame rate, 1080p. I think otherwise the game is identical to the PlayStation 3 version. I think it comes with uh, Batgirl DLC. <laughs> it's just like, it's just a totally unrelated game. <laughs> it's like, and we'll throw in the Batgirl DLC. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> I want to see the the next area and then we'll maybe we'll call it a day and you can go and play this game yourself instead of watching me play in every area if i remember correctly the sand is a slightly different color <laughs> every little detail mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. see you dude taking too long man yeah, he has a pretty awesome scarf there no come on that's not fair yeah see he's got a bunch of jumps i've only got like two All right, let's see what's next. And it does... It, ah, here we go. It is... The areas are pretty distinct. Like, you are in a desert most of the time, but you do end up underground and dealing with some snow at a certain point. So you're still controlling uh, your character. Actually, there. I am not now. What? Uh, this is like a cutscene. But there were no cutscenes. Yeah. You lied to me? Uh, I guess I did. I forgot about this one. I'm sorry, Brian. It's cool that it carried over the person that you were playing with yeah i mean you can you can play the whole game with a single person can i get like a whole group or is it i just think it's like just one, two one yeah. or yep, two just two look at this it is really just it feels nice to just slide down the the pile of sand yeah this game is uh quite the looker just like you brian Chang. thanks Oh, what are you? Whoa. I do not remember this at all. Oh, I think I can follow that guy around, or he follows me. Oh. He tells me where to go. Yeah, I remember, I think after a certain point, you're going to see a lot of those guys flying around. Yeah, I think it's from Legend of Korra. <laughs> it's the embodiment of evil. Is that what it is? Yep. <laughs> so I should be following it. As well. Absolutely. Okay. Well, that guy's Don't pinging you, I think, isn't he? Yeah, what do you want? I know, you got a long scarf. He's like, whoa, hey, hey, what are you, what's going on? Oh, this guy, he gives, he refreshes my jump. Ah. Yeah, what is that guy doing? Does he want to show me something? Go see. Whoa. What you got for me? Test man? chamber exclusive. <laughs> Some dude wants to show me a thing, I think. Or is this just an elaborate prank? He's I found they... some way to just trap you. <laughs> it just ruins your save. <laughs> it just deletes my Destiny character. <laughs> okay. Cool. Did... Yes. Nice. Yes. Where are oh. you taking me? I can't jump like you. <laughs> are you just showing off? Oh, okay. So, and then when I'm near him, it actually refreshes my jump as well. Nice. Where are we going? I feel like Just I shouldn't him. be following this guy. Just follow Why? him. He knows what he's doing. Look how look how big his scarf is. <laughs> oh. Some stuff up over this ridge. What you got for me? How's he already beaten it on PS4 this many times? Well, the game's pretty short. He could have he could have ripped through it this morning a couple times. I was coming this way anyway. Secret. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> we did it. Thanks for nothing, jackass. God. The people you meet in Journey. Just, just the worst. Just the worst <laughs> people. people. Griefing. Ugh. Oh my gosh. There's like four of these things. Good thing those don't five. kill you. Uh, Cork did say they, they were the embodiment of evil. Wow. Well, that dude's like riding it. Me. 
want to. Well, this is cool. I have seriously forgotten everything. About I don't this remember game. doing this yeah. at all. Oh, this is joyous. <laughs> we should just beat the game. Yeah. Just call it, make it a super replay. <laughs> I still don't think you should play it, Brian Shea. <laughs> just. <laughs> you're cool. You don't need to worry about it. Oh, more things. Cool. All right. Well, you know what? I think that was a good look at uh, Journey on PlayStation 4. I'm so relaxed right now. I know. I, let's mm -hmm. just, we should just take a nap. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So we found this will be the last thing we look at. This this is like an extra bonus. A b -b -b bonus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, episode? I don't know what this is. It's just kind of like a little. You can find a couple. You can find a bunch of these throughout the game, and they're like just little hidden areas. Yep. All right. So you did show me something, Mr. Man <laughs> or Mrs. Lady. Whoever you are. Cool. Where are they going? Oh, they're just they're just hanging out. Going under the sand. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, uh, everyone, for watching this episode of Test Chamber of, for Journey. Like we said, if you have the PlayStation 3 version of the game, if you own it, you can just go... You should be able to just go download it for PlayStation 4 without a problem and uh, call in sick and replay the game. So thanks, everyone. Thanks, Brian. I hope you play this weekend. I will. Jeff Cork. Yeah. Um, I don't really have any emotions either way regarding if you play it or not. Maybe I'll join your game... Oh, I'll be the guy walking in a circle. <laughs> just keep walking in a circle for like two hours. But yep. pinging you constantly like, hey, so you follow him. Hey, hey, hey Kyle. <laughs> hey, psst, hey, over here, over here. Psst. Cool. All right. All right. Well, go. thanks for watching. Go download Journey on PS4 and hope <laughs> that you don't get stuck in Jeff Cork's game. <laughs> thanks, everybody.